Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Amanda. If you are new here and it's your first time, welcome. Welcome to another episode of our For Rent series. And starting out, you may notice that we are actually in a different part of Tomarang. And that's because I was browsing The Sims resource and I saw this property and I figured it would be perfect to have as an additional rental property. We do still own our other one, but I moved most of the family into these units because I figured it would be perfect for us to have enough space while the whole family is here in Tomarang. So in this unit right here, I actually have Jasper's brother Brent staying here and his partner Carter and then in this unit right here we have Anessa and the rest of the family staying and so we have Anessa right here in the kitchen we have Jasper her husband also right here and then down here we have their twin boys little Kari and Emery who will actually be aging up this episode and Donitha and her husband Willard, Anessa's parents, are also staying here with us in this rental unit. And so like I said, we do still own our other property, but I wanted enough space for the whole family to be able to kind of stay together while we are here in Tomarang. And so I did go ahead and purchase this as an additional property for them and we actually have empty units that we can fill and so I figured this would be the perfect chance to show you guys how we can use the fill vacancy feature and also I noticed after I moved them out let me show you guys if we come over here to our owned businesses tab and we scroll down to our other property this is where we used to live I noticed that after I moved them out and I purchased it as just an owned property, we were able to set our rent much higher. I don't know if that's something that came in the little patch we had the other day or what. Okay, but I am going to go ahead and start trying to fill some of these vacancies that we have so that we can have, you know, tenants living with us and stuff like that. So I'm going to go to fill vacancy and as you can see I have the rent set to 172 and the rules are no trash overload, no pets, and no ghosts. And if I hit next up here, see we're asking for 172 per day, but it looks like all of the potential people that would be interested aren't willing to pay that much. And so I may actually have to lower it a little bit. I may lower it to the 155, but let's see who's available for our other units first. So if we go to the next one, I gave all of these the same rules and this one has a max rent of 192 and so that's what I set it to. Let's see if we have anyone willing to go that high. Um, We do not and so what I'm actually going to do then is change this rental price to 150. So I'm going to change it to 150 and then I'm going to go back to fill vacancy, hit next. And now we can actually sell it to this person that's just a single adult. We do have other people, but this person has three cats with them and this person is asking a little bit low. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on them and then just hit done. Let's see what we have for this one. We're asking for 192. We don't have anyone that is willing to go quite that high, but the person for 182 also has a dog with them and we have no pets allowed. Again, with the dog, um, let me just keep looking. I may actually move that one. I'm going to go ahead and lower the rent price on this one to, uh, let's say to 120. And then we can go ahead and try to fill the vacancy over there again. And now we have someone that is eligible. They are looking for four beds, so we can't, we can't put them into that unit. But we can move. Let's see, we also have the 182, but they have a dog. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and move this person in. And so now all of our available units are full. And so our daily rental income is 1,196 simoleons with a daily unit tax of 350 simoleons. And it is 6.30 p.m. And so I actually wanted Anessa to go out and sell some of the wine that she has that is finally aged. She is so happy to see her sons again, but I do want her to go out and sell her wine. Oh, and also I forgot to show you guys that we did end up getting our plushie from the Tiger Sanctuary. It did come in the mail. We also got a poster that came in the mail with them. And so even though we don't actually have tigers, unfortunately, we did get this cute plushie, which, you know, I guess is worth something, I guess. Not our baby asleep on the floor. Why is Emery knocked out on the floor? Guys, I do have, I put 
I put toddler beds in here because they are going to be aging up soon. But in the unit upstairs that I just made into Donitha and Willard's place, I do actually have two infant cribs for them up here. But for some reason, they just have him knocked out on the floor. And Anessa is so happy to see her boys again. Aww. Oh, Curry's talking to her. That is so cute. I need her to put him down though because we need to go and attempt to sell our wine while the night market is open. I may actually just teleport her here actually you guys because that will be quicker than trying to walk on foot. And is this Brent actually at the night market? It is! Brent is actually out at the night market. So this is Brent. This is Jasper's brother. And I do want her to go ahead and give Brent a hug even though they are staying in the unit right next to us. They are our our active unit right now but yeah we haven't actually seen much of Brent and Carter because they're not our active unit and so I feel like Anessa's probably just telling him like I'm so happy you guys were able to come out here it's nice to have the whole family get away and why is Kari angry oh he's tired I'm gonna go ahead and cheat his energy up because yeah but yeah Anessa's probably like it's nice that you all were able to actually come out here for the boy's birthday it's good to have family you know it's been fun just me and my mom but I was really missing everybody back in Chestnut Ridge and so it's good to actually have you guys here and he's like yeah me and carter really love the unit that you put us in and it's good it's good relaxation for us and i'm gonna have her actually because she's saying goodbye i'm gonna have her come over here and we're going to try to sell our sell our wine maybe i'll have her come right here and then i'm going to get her selling table out so I'm going to have her go ahead and place this in the world. Hopefully she places it facing the right way, but we can always move it. Oh, there's Carter. This is Brent's partner, Carter. It looks like maybe he was coming from the garden back here. And now he's just walking through probably to meet up with Brent. And then let's view our inventory. We don't have anything in it right now. Let's get out. I only had her bring the finely aged bottles of wine. So we do actually have three more. That are currently in the wine rack oh carter just walked right past us maybe he saw that we were busy let's go ahead and tend the table and i want to mark our prices up to 200 percent and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a street sale we are competing with all of the night market vendors but we also have something to sell and it's not like these stalls are actually real most of this is a set anyway, and so maybe we can actually get some actual sales out here. Are you interested, lady? No? Just walking past us? Okay. Hopefully people are interested. The night market is so dead, but maybe we'll get somebody. Oh, Carter came back to speak to us. He was like, he's probably like, hey, Nessa, you out here selling? She's like, yeah, I'm out here selling wine that I've made. I, in my spare time, I've just been out here making wine like normal, you know. And he's like, oh, cool. Let's see if we can try to sell to Carter. Let's give Carter a sales pitch. Maybe he's interested in buying a bottle for him and Brent. Let's see, she's going to ask him, you interested in purchasing a bottle? Maybe. Is he? Is Carter going to buy from us? Maybe. Clara no he didn't oh that sucks i was hoping he would buy a bottle from us oh how about her is she interested she looks interested let's go ahead and try to give her a sales pitch let's see what does she think oh we have people coming up now let's try and give Ryder a sales pitch too what do you guys think this is all homemade oh no they're not interested either let's see let's try to give bjorn who is also here in tomarang for some reason let's go ahead and try to give him a sales pitch how about him? No, he just got down on the ground to do a push-up. Oh, he did! 3,465 simoleons. Thank you. How about you, Bjorn? Are you interested? Finally aged wine. You just saw him buy a bottle. No, he left? Okay, whatever. Oh, this lady's drunk. Let's see if we can sell something to her. Oh, is she just leaving? She's already <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Let's try to sell to Rowan. Let's give a sales pitch here. I love how we're on the other side of the table. You're not interested? Well, it's not like there's tons of other stuff to do out here. You might as well shop with us. How about you? And I noticed that both of our boys are not doing well at all. He is in his crib. I'm going to cheat his hunger up and his energy a little bit. And I'm also going to cheat. They do not do a good job taking care of infants when you are not doing it yourself, unfortunately. How about you? You interested? Let's give her a sales pitch. 
This sale is almost over and we only sold one bottle. Come on. Look, these people in Tomerang are not interested in our wine. We have tons. Okay. 7,560 simoleons. Thank you, lady. I noticed that they did get a negative interaction. Maybe she bought like, oh, fine. I'll buy some of your wine. But I mean, that was a good, that was a good buy. 7,000 simoleons. Jeez. Most of our bottles here are worth around one to three, 3,000 simoleons. What about Willa? Let's try to sell to Willa. Let's see if she's interested in our wine. How about this lady? How about Dara? Is Dara interested? We also have Dominic Fires here. Maybe he's interested in a bottle. No. Okay. I'm gonna have her do one more sale while I try to take care of everyone back at the property. Oh, she's also feeling tense because of all these people around. Let's see, how's he doing? I'm going to have Willard go ahead and use the bathroom. Denise is actually feeling okay. Anessa's out selling. How are our boys doing? Oh, he's down here sad. Jasper, come over here. Oh, he's also using his diaper. Oh, that that's great. Come over here and talk to Emery and also comfort him. And let's have him also cuddle him as well. Let's see, affection. Let's go ahead and also give him a little kiss because he's just sitting there sad and Jasper's just sitting here like he doesn't recognize it. Like what? Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, everyone's gone. I thought selling in a night market would work a little bit better, but it does not. It doesn't really seem like it, unfortunately. Oh, Brett. Brett's like, I went home to change clothes real quick. I'm back though. Let's try to give a sales pitch to Brett. Let's <laughs> see if he's interested in buying wine from his sister-in-law. Oh, did he say no? Yeah, he said no, and Anessa is also getting tired. What about her? Let's give her a sales pitch. And is Jasper doing what I asked him to do with the baby? He's still just sitting here. Look, get up out this chair, please, and do the other things I told you to do. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, Jasper, please do what I asked you to do. Thank you. Aww. Oh, we just sold a bottle of wine, 3,465 simoleons. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, we have animals and Willard's inventory. I forgot. My bad. I'll take them out and sell them um, after after we're done with this episode. But I completely forgot. Danitha, can you please change your clothes, honey? Let's see, who just purchased? Was it this guy, Hector? Oh, Jasper and Emery just got a sentiment together. That's so cute. The night market is going to be closing in um, just a few minutes. How many did we sell? I think we sold, what, three? Three bottles? Last time we had a wine sale, they all sold like crazy. We sold like all of our wine very quickly within like our first sale. But out here in Tomerang, it seems a little bit more difficult. Anessa is exhausted. 4,599 simoleons. Thank you. Appreciate you. How about you? You interested? No? And how's Anessa feeling? Unpleasant aura. <laughs> what is this moolet? It says, unpleasant aura from generous Sim talking with a mean or evil Sim. Anessa tries to see the best in everyone, but these vibes are just not it. Oh, this lady must be mean or evil. Anessa used to have the mean trait too before, you know, she got married to Jasper and all of that good stuff. Let's see, are you interested? I'm probably going to end this sale because she's so tired. Let's see, what is Jasper... Up to, why is the baby on the ground? He's crying. What, what is y'all doing? Please, he's hungry, he's tired, Jasper. They're out here talking to the plants. Please, why is this glowing like this? Forbidden fruit tree, quality perfect. Oh, we could sell, ooh, we could sell it for 2,000 simoleons. We may do that. But I'm going to have him go ahead and feed Emery because why is the baby on the ground just crying? And y'all standing here like y'all don't see him. Jasper, feed the baby. He's crying. Feed him. He's crying. He's right next to you. Oh my goodness. Yes, please feed him. Danitha, why are you taking pictures of the plant? And what's taking Willard so long to go to the bathroom? Like they just had him on the ground just crying like it was nothing. Okay, also just realized, y'all, they are literally in the backyard of the other shared space. I'm going to have him come up here and put Emery, put Emery in um, this crib over here. Is our street sale done yet? Almost. I'm actually going to have Dodifa come over here and serve some dinner for everyone. Let's have her go ahead and cook a gourmet meal for everybody. Um, She can make some burmese soup. That is going to be enough to feed everyone. So we'll even have leftovers. And let's see. Unless the sale should be just about 
Yeah, Nessa's cell is over. I'm gonna go ahead and clear her table. She's like, sorry, you missed a cell, buddy. Let's see, is Danitha cooking for us? She's feeling bored, tea deprived from wanting to be nosy. Um, let's go ahead and put our table in our inventory. Danitha should almost be done cooking. It's already 3 a.m. for them. Uh, time goes by so fast. Where did she pour that? Why would you put it right underneath? All right, let's put our pressure cooker over here. I'm going to let Anessa grab some of this when she gets back. After Jasper uses the bathroom, he can grab some of this. Willard can also grab some. Let's see, Danitha is already eating. Oh, it's hot. Okay, let's have everyone grab some soup and then they can go to bed so that we can get a nice and early star and how far away is anessa the sun's coming up i kept her out all night i feel kind of bad <laughs> i kept her out all night she's exhausted but we did make money we have fifty four thousand simoleons now i think we had thirty five thousand initially when i started the episode denitha has to go to work oh yeah she's a handy person that's right i guess i'll let her go to work i'm just gonna get everyone's needs up and then you know we'll come back hey okay, guys so denitha just got back from work and she got promoted to prime fixer upper Danitha has been promoted to Prime Fixer Upper. She will now make an additional 31 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 78 simoleons per hour. She has also received the following bonus, 400 simoleons and new clothes. And so now I believe she is level 3 in the handy person career. I also have Jasper and Anessa baking cakes for the baby's birthdays today. How is Jasper doing downstairs on the cake? Both boys just went back to bed, it looks like. He's literally sleeping on the floor. Oh, I feel so bad. Like, he's knocked out on the floor. He's not really tired, but... I guess he was still a little bit tired, but they needed baths and everything like that. I'm going to have him go ahead and put birthday candles on this cake. I am noticing that I'm getting a lot more simulation lag on this on this lot than I was before. I don't know if it's because of the amount of tenants or like what. Maybe it's those animals that are in Willard's inventory. So we got our cake out. How's Anessa doing up here on the cake? Oh, little Emery's playing in the pots and pans. I want to combine the pool party event with their birthday, you guys. And so I'm probably going to try to have the pool party at our other property. And then we can also, you know, have them age up there as well. Let's go ahead and let's put that there. And add birthday candles to it, please. Okay, now that we have both cakes finished, I'm going to go ahead and plan a social event. And we want to throw a pool party. Do I want it to be gold? Um, Sure, just so we can see what the things actually are. The host can be all of us. The guests can be, of course, little Emery and Kari. And then Brent who's right next door. We can also invite everyone that lives in that unit over there. We can also invite the people that came to the potluck with us. Where is Carter? Or oh, we can invite the, the little boy that lives in that unit. There's Carter. We can invite Layla. Just off the top of my head, I can't remember if that's everyone that lives there or not. Their daughter did not show up as an option to invite. But either way, I'm just gonna go ahead and invite those people. And for where we're going to have it, we can have it at, let's go ahead and have it at our old property and we're going to go ahead and start it. Okay, so now we are here at our other property and it looks like our goals for the pool party are to socialize while swimming, socialize by the poolside, to go swimming and to thank a guest for coming. Okay, and let's just all come back here. Relax on a float lounger or lounge chair as well as one of the things that we have to do. Oh, there's their daughter right there, Jada Evans, okay. So she did actually come down, thankfully. And I also wanna go ahead and get our birthday cakes out. We'll put one right there, and then Jasper has the other one in his inventory right here. So that we'll already have those ready. They do have the candles on them so that nobody takes a piece of them. I would hate for that to happen. I love how everyone just automatically gets in their swimsuits. The events that came with this pack are pretty cool. And there's something that I can definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of, even if we aren't living in a rental unit. Because I love how social everyone gets by default at them. And how everyone kind of just automatically starts doing the same activities, unlike regular parties and things oh they had a bad interaction let's see do i want to go ahead and age the boys up now 
Altamira was over here being, because she has the cringe trait along with the child of the village trait. And we keep getting these notifications about all these goats and sheep that Willard has in his inventory. Now see, Jasper doesn't know anyone. Maybe I'll have him go ahead and give a Tamarani introduction to Taria because he doesn't know anyone. And Willard also doesn't know anyone. I'm going to have Willard go ahead and introduce himself to some of our guests as well. And just have everyone just get to know each other. I hate how the babies are just on the ground. We're about to age them up because it looks so stupid with them just sitting on the ground like this. Oh, look at Denitha holding little Kari. Oh, Denitha's probably like, let me go ahead and feed my grandbaby. He got him around all these people over here. And the other one laying on the ground. But we are going to get ready to age them up just so that we have enough time before the party actually ends. Oh, he rolled over in his sleeve. I love the infants. What is this that Willard has? Infant laughter from watching an infant. Willard's heart is melting from watching the most adorable little infant play. All the cutest of them all. That's really cute. How's Danitha feeling? Express fondness to Willard. Oh, I didn't know they could sit at the pool and also hold the infants. But I'm going to have... Let's see. I'm going to have Anessa come and pick up Emery. Let's have her wake him up. All the babies are getting so restless. Oh, he's overheating. No, we got to put him in hot weather. No. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and change his outfit because he's overheating. Let's put him in his hot weather onesie. Okay, let's have Anessa come and pick up Emery. Let's wake him up. And I'm going to have her, let's have her help him blow out candles. We'll have Emery's first and then we'll do Kari. Let's see how she's feeling. Pool party. Let me read this really quick. Pool party from swimming at a pool party. There has never been a disappointing pool party ever in history. Somebody, probably. <laughs> Let's have her go ahead and grab Emery so that we can age him up to a toddler. Let's see who's blowing horns. Yeah, everybody. Everyone's coming this way, it looks like, because they see the birthday candles. Happy birthday, Emery. Oh, he spit all over the cake. That's that's great. <laughs> Let's age him up. Okay, Emery aged up. He had the cautious trait as an infant, and I do usually... Why is he bald? I do usually roll my traits for my sims. Go ahead and randomize his trait. And he is a fussy toddler. He has also earned a bonus trait from being a top-notch infant. So let's go ahead and accept that. Oh, he's not bald. He just has a buzz cut. My bad. I thought he was bald. Oh, he's adorable. That's so cute. Everyone's celebrating. Yeah, everyone's celebrating. And now I'm going to have Jasper. No, Denitha, don't pick him up, please, please, please. Let's have her just put him right back down. Aw. Let's have her put him right back down. And then I want Jasper to help Kari blow out his candles as well. Let's see, he acquired the movement skill and the communication skill. Way to go, Emery. He's so cute. I'll give them makeovers off cam. But let's have him go ahead and age up. Oh, he was cheering for Emery learning how to start walking and everything. Let's see, help him age up. I love how everyone's actually like watching. <laughs> let's see. Okay, Kari aged up and he was a sensitive infant. Let's go ahead and randomize his trait. And he is a silly toddler. And he also earned a bonus trait for being a top-notch infant. He aged up with that hairstyle for some reason. They are both so adorable. Oh my goodness. They are both so adorable. Aw, just taking my guesses, it looks like Emery looks a little bit more like Jasper, whereas Kari looks a little bit more like Anessa, at least as toddlers. Let's have them also call people to this meal so that they can all get something to eat because we are not going to take home all of this cake. Oh, it looks like she already helped herself to a slice of cake. 
And Kari also acquired the movement skill. Let's see, why is Emery feeling sad? Oh, he's hot because of the heat. Uh, I keep forgetting they're in there every day wear. Um, let's go ahead and change his outfit. Everyone come eat some of this cake, please. The good thing about having all of these guests is that all of the cake actually gets eaten up. Let's see, Kari also has acquired the communication skill. Like, I really do love how lively these social events are that came with this pack. Now, in the world, there's not much to do, but I do really enjoy how lively the social events are that came with the pack. And Emery has already developed the picky eater quirk somehow just from eating the cake. Maybe he thought the cake was nasty, but he's already developed picky eater. Why is Brent here doing push-ups? Please, Brent. How is Jasper feeling? He's feeling playful from the birthday party. Oh, look at all the ladies just over here socializing and Jada's over here as well. I should have put a toddler pool out here so that they can have something to play in as well because we can't edit the lot since we don't since we don't live on this lot anymore and we are just visiting technically so I can't edit it and put down a pool. Quirk revealed Wanderer. Emery has also developed the Wanderer quirk as well. I don't need to just jump into the pool. Let's see, how's he feeling? He's feeling angry. He wants sugar and he's also feeling tired. I'm going to cheat up his energy just a little bit because the party does not have much longer. Let's see, where's he going? Oh, he's going to his daddy. He's coming over here. Oh, why this little girl yelling? What's wrong with you? Oh, she mad. Oh, Josephine calmed her down a little bit. She was mad. She having a bad time at the party. Denise is having a good time in the pool. Oh, we have a tenant rule violation. So over at our other property, they have violated the no trash overload rule. Okay. And it looks like Kari has developed the aggressive quirk. Is it because of us playing? Is that what caused him to develop it? Oh, now Emery is over here crying as well. What's wrong? Oh, from his picky eater trait. Let's have Jasper come over here and comfort Emery because he's upset. Let's give him you'll be okay. He's over here talking to his brother and to... Oh, I feel like Carter's telling him, like... I feel like they're discussing, like, their future, like, in the long term. Maybe I'll have to have them get engaged. Is he feeling better? Oh, now he's just angry. He's upset. They had too much sugar. That's what this is. They had way too many sweets today. Let's have him go ahead and brighten his day. And after the party is over, we will go and check on that rule violation and get that trash cleaned up. Oh, Carter's over here entertaining everyone. Okay, that's the end of the party though. We only got silver, but the main goal was just to see like how the pool party actually works. Why are they both crying at each other? Difficult. No, I don't want the brothers to have a difficult dynamic. Would you say that Emery and Kari have a difficult family dynamic? No, they're just both upset. <laughs> Look at them. Look at how they're looking at each other. No, they don't have a difficult dynamic. They're toddlers. They're just both upset and they're both about to go home. This lady's spying on Willard. Is she looking at Willard? Uh-uh. Willard is married, honey. Look at Willard's, Willard's smiling. Don't entertain that, Willard. Don't let me catch you entertaining that. Uh-uh. Zafira. Zafira is a teen. No. Go find you something to do, Zafira. Over here looking at Willard. Who is this? Why is she so bright? Oh, she must have been she must have been the one that moved into into this unit, but she's she's very bright. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back to our other property so that we can check on this rule violation. Okay, so we are back at our property and I noticed that unless I'm doing something wrong, that when you click on visit unit, it doesn't actually tell you which unit you are clicking on. And so I may have to actually go into build mode really quickly just so I can see which unit it is that has violated our rules. Okay, so it looks like it's either this one right here or this this unit up here they both look like the same color to me and so I guess we'll just try to visit both 
Okay, let's see. So yeah, I see all of the trash upstairs actually. And we're going to go ahead and issue a fine for that. It doesn't look like we can find this tenant. I'm trying to see who she can actually go ahead and issue that fine to. I may actually come out to the mailbox and post the fine for no trash overload. And we'll just do it via the mail because I am not sure which tenant is actually responsible for it. Okay, it says success. Fine collected for the no trash overload rule violation and our unit rating also went up. Okay, but now we are back home. I'm also going to have Jasper wherever he is. Why was he all the way over here by the docks? Oh my goodness, okay. Let's have Jasper also come back home, please. The night market is actually open again. I could have had him stop and get something at the night market, actually. Maybe I will because he hasn't had anything from the night market. And so maybe I'll have him come over here and I'll have him come over here and order some food. Let's have him get some Malaysian satay. He could try some of that. Let's teleport Anessa here and have her also order some food. She can get some tofu pad thai. Let's have her go ahead and order. And we have Danitha and Willard at home with the babies. But I took care of our night on the town actually which is great let's have jasper also go ahead and order i noticed that the night on the town isn't showing up for him even though it is showing up for anessa i think that is actually a known bug with the holidays not showing up for the entire household unfortunately so he didn't actually check off the tradition only anessa did for night on the town which is a little bit weird but it's um it's a known bug so i also want anessa to see if they have any different marbles than what she already has at home here before we leave the night market. But I'm going to have Anessa come back across the street so we can see what they have for marbles. If there's anything different than what she already has. I don't know if she already has this tassel, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase one of each of them. Let's also get one of these mysterious baskets. Salvadorada Sun Marble. Let's purchase one of those. I think she already has Sulani Swirl, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to have her purchase those three things. And then when we get back home... <laughs> We can put them into our marble jar. Jasper came over here. He's probably like, okay, you ready to go, babe? It's kind of late. It's almost 11 o'clock. Oh, he's complimenting her. Okay, so they are back home. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Anessa's marble jar. And now we actually have a new unique one. I want to see really quickly if she can order some other ones online, order some different ones online. And so we go to purchase and then purchase marbles. And let's see, she can get some different ones online. I'm going to have her order one of each of these except for the Road to Nowhere and the Solani Swirl because she already has some of those. But I'm going to have her order one of each of the other ones that she doesn't have for a total of 341 simoleons. And they actually go right into her inventory. And so I'm going to open this up and we can go ahead and put those into our marble jar. Yeah, they could just have this time to just reconnect and just chat and talk about the birthday party and just how happy they are you know to be together again and not so far apart anymore and this was actually really fun having the whole family here and it was a bit chaotic it was a bit chaotic but we did have the boys birthday party and everything like that and so all in all it was a successful but busy two days <laughs> but okay guys that is actually where i'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.